Hey, welcome to Genealogy TV. I am so glad you're here. This is our first episode of what will be a weekly series on genealogy for all levels, beginning to advanced. We're going to do a weekly learning series and uh, interviews for advanced genealogists and, well, actually genealogists of all types. So I'm glad you're here. Uh, we're going to get started in just a second. I've got five tips for you to help you think about what it is that you want to know about your family history. Maybe you've never done genealogy before and you know there's something that you've always been kind of curious about. I'm going to give you five tips on how to figure it out in just a second. Hey, and welcome back. So my goal for you is to figure out uh, your genealogy. But one of the things that I do, my name is Connie Knox. I am a lifelong genealogist, and I'm going to help you go further, faster, but factually with your family research. So we're going to get started with those five tips in just a second. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about Genealogy TV. Uh, this is uh, what I do for kicks. <laughs> I'm a video junkie and I'm also a genealogist. I've been around for, uh, gosh, I've been doing this for 40 years. So I have solved a lot of mysteries over the years. Um, so I'm hoping to help you figure out your family mysteries as well. However, keep in mind, I am not the expert on everything. And quite frankly, any professional genealogist out there, they're not an expert at everything either. So this is where the exchange comes in. This is where we help each other figure out where the resources are. We're going to find it further, faster. So let me talk about that for a second. Also, before we get into that, tell me where you're watching from. I put it in the comment notes below. And uh, by the way, while I've got you here, let's talk about subscribing. Subscribe button and ring the bell so that you can catch the next episode. You'll get notified every time uh, when the next episode uploads. So going further faster and factually let's explain that real quick um, going further really is more about um, not only climbing your family tree but digging deeper into the records getting into the details uh, to help uh, really find the facts uh, that are going to help you with your family research also going faster well now wait a minute most genealogists are going to say whoa 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 we can't be going faster wait a minute we can't be going faster because we need to slow down and really dig into the records and find what is out there plus turning over every rock this is what exhaustive research is all about right uh, reasonably exhaustive research is one of the genealogical proof standards and so we uh, do want to slow down and make sure that we have uncovered everything we can for every ancestor before we move back to the next step. So what am I talking about with this faster stuff? The faster part is the exchange here on Genealogy TV is where we're helping you find those resources quickly so that you're not spinning your wheels going all over the place trying to find records in places that, you know, you're not going to find it, right? So with some strategic thought, we can help you find those resources faster. So while I'm not an expert at everything, I'm still learning. I'm still taking classes too. But together, I think all of us, through video, through, uh, through interviews with other genealogists, we can help you find things quickly. So most importantly is the factual part. So I'm saying I'm going to help you go further, faster, factually. Facts right? We're collecting facts all the time in genealogy. And so it's the factual part uh, that we want to really want to focus on because just because you find things in records doesn't mean it's always true. So we're going to be questioning everything. So there is the further, faster, factually with your family research. So I promised you five tips and I need to uh, move on to the next slide so that you can actually see what tip number one is. So tip number one, get curious. So everything we do in, in genealogy starts with a good research question, right? So the question comes from curiosity. So maybe you want to know about your grandfather or, or you, you know, 
we all want to know about all of our family tree, but my point here is let's start with one question. Find one question that you're curious about. One. One research question, that's all. What is the one thing that you want to know most about your family history? Maybe it's your, about your grandfather or your grandmother, or maybe you don't know who your grandparents are, or you don't know who your parents are. Maybe you took a DNA test and you don't, because you, maybe you were adopted and you don't have any information, right? So develop that research question right now. Put it in the comment notes, because when you write it down, it becomes real, okay? So one research question, and while you're at it, about one person. So I'm suggesting here that it might be about your grandmother, right? One research question about one person. That's all. Don't have to do the whole family tree right now. We want to take it one research question at a time. Tip number two, ask. Who is the one living person that you can ask? Maybe there's several living persons that you can ask. Maybe you need to go, it's okay, you've got your research question in your mind, okay? Who is alive that you can ask? Is it Aunt Mabel? Maybe it's a librarian. Maybe it's the lady who keeps the records down at the local cemetery. Maybe you don't know, but I'll bet with a little investigation, you can at least start exploring what or who you're going to ask right? So think about that. We need to start thinking about who we're going to ask. And then uh, part of this tip is what are we going to ask? Write a list of questions. So if you're going to think about asking Aunt Mabel about your uncle who maybe was in the war, then maybe what we need to do is write a list of questions about that subject matter. Tip number three, the five W's. Okay, so this is what um, you need to think about when you're writing your questions. If you're going to go talk to Aunt Mabel, you're going to go talk to somebody at the cemetery. Who is it that you're researching? So whoever you're going to ask is going to need to know that. So if it's a librarian or whatever, you know, it's like I'm looking for so-and-so, right? So who is it? What is it you already know? Okay, and what is it you want to know? Where did this happen? Maybe it's an event. Maybe it's a birth. Maybe it's a it's service in the war. Maybe it's uh, an accident. Who knows? So, who is it? What is it you want to know? And where did this happen and of course we need to figure out when so surely there's a time frame even if you don't know exactly when there's probably a date range that you can narrow down um, as to when this person lived or when this event happened that you're seeking an answer to and then why why does it matter to you really so let's think about that for a minute why does it matter because if it if it's um if it, if it doesn't matter to you, then why do it? So why does it matter? So be thinking about that. Um, that's not necessarily something that you need to ask um, the person that you're seeking answers from, but it is important in your soul as to why does this matter. Maybe it's because you want to hand these stories down to your grandkids or your children or save it for future generations. Okay, so going on to tip number four, plan and connect. Plan and connect. So we're going to plan the conversation that we're going to have with this living person. We've got our research question, our big burning research question. We've got kind of a list of questions of what it is that we're looking to ask and the who, what, where, when, why. And then we're going to try and connect with this person. So plan your connection. So what's their phone number? Where do they live? 
where's the cemetery I'm going to? Or where's the library? Where's the archive? What are the hours that the, the archive is open, right? So plan your connection and then guess what? You're going to connect with them. You're going to make the effort to connect with them. Do it. What have you got to lose, right? At worst case, they don't have the answer. That's okay. We'll plan another connection. But you know what? We need to get out there and connect with them. We need to go to the cemetery and look at the, at the tombstones, or we need to get in the car and go to the archives, or we need to go see Aunt Mabel and maybe bring her a, a bucket of fried chicken while you're there. So, um, okay, so that's tip number four, plan and connect. Tip number five, evaluate. Okay, so now you've gone, to, you've made the connection, you've come back with information, right? Don't know how much information you got, but let's say you picked up a few tidbits here and there. You maybe brought some photographs back. You brought some a birth certificate or a marriage certificate or something that you discovered along the way. What is it that you found? In some cases, it's what you didn't find that is also helpful. Keep that in mind. Sometimes when we go looking for things and they're not where we expected them, that could also be a clue. So evaluate what you found. Evaluate what you found. Um, and write a brief conclusion. Write a brief conclusion of what you found. So here's how that works. It's like three little bullet points, right? Three little things. What the question was that you had. The burning desire to know what you found and where you found it. And what you concluded from that. Was it factual? Be thinking about that too, but if you found some information, that might lead to the bonus tip, which is your next steps, right? Bonus tip, next steps. So you found information, You from that, you probably discovered a few things, and along the way, you discovered that maybe you found some more family member uh, that you didn't know about. Well, that's cool, right? That's very cool. So now, before you go jumping back to the next generation, though, let's say on a marriage certificate you found the parents, right? But before you jump into that next generation, make sure that you found everything you can find on that person from your original research question. So let's not run too fast. Make sure you have everything you need, okay? And then... That is part of your next step, right? Your next step is to make sure you've got everything you need for that person, everything you can find on that person, then you move on to the next step. So write down your next steps as well in your conclusions, okay? So the question is, what is the research question that you're going to investigate? So we've gone through five steps now and a bonus. What is it that you're curious about? Tell us about it in the comment sections because when you write it down, you commit to it. You got it? Okay. So I hope this was helpful. This is one of the first of many, 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 many to come in all levels of research. Um, so uh, just to let you know, you can find us obviously on YouTube. You can follow Genealogy TV on Facebook. And uh, for North Carolina researchers, uh, I have NC Ancestry on YouTube as well. It has its own uh, YouTube channel and ncancestry.com. So for those who are researching in North Carolina, the goal here is to do a county by county guide, not only what's online, but really focusing on what is not online. Um, because most of the records, um, today are still not digitized and are not available online. So the idea there is to go and use this website and the YouTube channel as a resource for why should you, it's a county by county guide. So, so if you have to go to a specific county in North Carolina to do research, why should you go there? What is there for me? So um, that is a work in progress. There is a long way to go on NC Ancestry, but if you're an expert in any of the North Carolina counties, I'd love to hear from you. And with that, uh, I think uh, we're done. 
And I am so grateful you are here. And thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you next time on Genealogy TV.